Okay, I'm gonna try and so I'm gonna I'm going to try something even more ridiculous. No way this works. <sighs> What's what is this hot mess at my doorstep? And why are you lacking in the clothing department? As much as I would love to know where you got those fabulous alien ears, I'm afraid I'm not in the mood for business, so bye bye. I am Groot. Okay, listen here, Groot. I don't have any time for your little tree antics. Take your branches elsewhere before I have to call an exterminator. It recognizes Groot. It recognizes Groot. Okay, hold on. Hey there, what's with the getup? Did the strip club fire you too? I am Groot. Look, I don't know what kind of weird stuff you're into, but I'm not interested. In <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. But it recognizes Groot. Oh, well, well, if it isn't my ex's new squeeze, what brings you to my humble abode, buddy? Why are you knocking on my door for? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you, were, you weren't expecting anyone. I just thought you could use a friendly face after getting dubbed, but I guess I'll be going then. <laughs> Have a great day! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, buddy, looks like you're ready to party like there's no tomorrow. What's the occasion? Oh, thank you for knocking on my door. You want to party, you say? I'm ready to party. Oh, um... Actually, I was just admiring your outfit. I'm not really in the party mood tonight. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, if you're not in the mood to party, I guess you best be on your way and uh, head to your car. Oh, well, hold on now. No need to kick me out. Yeah, I may not be in the party mood, but I'm still here to chat if you want. What the f... What have I done? Oh, I have found, like, a... A rabbit hole here. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. If you if you if you like make it sound like they're the ones visiting, it, it breaks it a little. <laughs> Do you want me to try? It? I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay, hold on. Hello. Who dumped you at the Christmas party? The Venga bus is coming, and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco, and inner city disco. Oh. <laughs> ah, the Venga bus takes me back to the good old days. But what's got you jumping and discoing here at my door? Hey now, hey now, hear what I say now. Happiness is just around the corner. <laughs> Happiness, huh? I could use a little bit of that myself, but what brings you to my corner of the world? I've got something to tell ya. I've got news for you. Gonna put some wheels in motion. Get ready, cause we're coming through. <laughs> wheels in motion, huh? Sounds like well, you're ready to take on the one. So what's this exciting news you've got for me? The Venga bus is coming, and everybody's jumping. New York to San Francisco, and intercity disco. <laughs> now you're talking my language. Let's just go away to New York or San Francisco on that Venga bus. But before we hit the road, what's the real reason you're here? The wheels of steel are turning, and traffic lights are burning. So if you'd like to party, get on and move your body. Party and moving our bodies, and that's what I'm talking about. Consider yourself officially invited. Let's get on that Venga bus and make some memories. I can't believe this worked. <laughs> I said nothing but the lyrics to that song. <laughs> oh my god. Could he use a little bit of change? I could, I could do that. I could do that too. I mean, I had a real conversation with them. Like, I, I picked the correct lyric to go with what I was trying to tell them. This game is hilarious. It reminds you of that game where the divorcing couple invites you for dinner. I've been wanting to play that one. This is like a, I guess, a modern take on that. This is freakishly accurate at times when it comes to the voice recognition, but also just it figuring out context. Like, I made a pop culture reference and it knew what I was talking about. Okay, I've got, I've got a good one. Oh my gosh, you're like here to give me an early Christmas present? How simply fabulous. I bring you a present, the present of storytelling. Would you like your present? <laughs> oh, no thanks, I have enough presents. I definitely know idea. What do you know you just said if I had a present for you? It's so infuriating sometimes. I'm like, okay, cool. This is a, this is a thread that I can follow. It's like, imagine you're in an improv group and so you start a topic and you bounce back with the person and then the person immediately turns back and says, nah. Okay. Mm. Who are you? Are you lost or something? What are you here at this hour? I need a beautiful young lady to listen to my story. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not interested in listening to your story. Perhaps find someone who actually cares. <laughs> you try to be funny. 
Ah, praise to the heaven, the weary traveler of the night. In the name of our beloved savior, what brings you to my humble abode, the sacred Eve? Hello, Father. I would like to read you a passage from this holy text, if you wouldn't mind. It's a great story. Ah, a passage from the holy text. How delightful. I'm eager to hear the words of wisdom that you have bestowed upon you. Please share your divine story with me. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there and tell you how I became a prince of a town called Bel Air. Oh, my dear friend, that was not quite the holy text I was anticipating. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. I'm afraid I must stick to the teachings of our beloved savior. Is there anything else I can help you with? In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground was where I used to spend most of my days. Well, that's an intriguing tale about your upbringing, friend. But let us focus on your intention, your matters of salvation. Is there anything else you seek guidance on? Well, there were a couple of guys who were up to no good, started causing trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared. Oh, oh my dear friend, while I sympathize with the challenges you face, I must remind you that our conversation must revolve around matters of spirituality. If there is something troubling you in that regard, I am more than willing to offer guidance and support. Well, she's moving me in with my aunt and uncle in Bel Air, and I am troubled on a spiritual level. What should I do? <laughs> I empathize with your troubles, my friend. But I am unable to offer guidance on matters unrelated to spiritual enlightenment. Damn it! <laughs> I tried. I tried. Praise be heavenly friend. What brings you to this doorstep at your, at your late hour? Well, I moved to Bel Air and got hit by a car, and so here I am again. Oh, my dear angelic cyclist, I am deeply saddened to hear of your misfortune. But fear not, for I am here to offer you solace and guidance. Let me hear, listen to your tales of woe and see if there's any wisdom I may impart on you. This is a story all about how my life got flipped turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute to just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became a prince of a town called Bel Air. Oh my goodness, dear angelic cyclist, your tales seem quite far-fetched. I'm afraid I must bid you farewell. Damn it. <laughs> Too fresh. Yeah, well, I tried. Yeah, he basically said, that sucks. I'm a priest. He did like the equivalent of, sir, this is a Wendy's to me. Uh, oh my goodness gracious, what a sight to behold. Welcome, my dear friend, to the haven of righteousness. How can I sit you on this particular night? Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. I have committed sin against my closest friend. My child, the path to redemption starts with acknowledging one's mistakes. Tell me what transgression weighs heavily upon your soul. I ate his hot dog. Hello. Bless me! Such a heinous act- <laughs> What? <laughs> whoa, 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 what do you mean, heinous? Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's one too far. Like, I- I cannot be salvaged. Praise be, welcome fellow, <laughs> spark of madness and mirth. How delightful it is to be graced by your presence, O noble jester of the realm. Let us rejoice in the eternal jest and dance of the tune of laughter. Hello, I am the fresh prince of Bel Air. I am here to atone for my sins. Ah, the fresh prince of Bel Air, our most captivating tale of redemption and growth. I applaud your willingness to atone, noble prince. Let us embark. On the journey of spiritual enlightenment and penance, for it is never too late to seek redemption and seek find solace in the faith. Thank you, Father. My tale started many years ago. Would you like to hear it? Have you ever oh, I am ever eager to listen to tales of transformation and redemption. Pray, regale me with, you, with your details of your journey. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground was where I spent most of my days. Magnificent, a humble prayer, the cradle of your youth, where the seeds of destiny were sown. Verily, the Lord works in mysterious worlds, for it is that very playground that your transformative journey began. Please, continue. Thank you, Father. I then found redemption in a bad situation, where some guys were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. Oh, the trials and tribulations you face, noble prince. In the face of adversity, your resolve shone bright, and you found redemption amidst chaos. Please share me how you overcame those nefarious miscreants, for your story fills me with anticipation. I lost the immediate battle. But I did not lose the war, father, for you see, I moved in with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. 
a miracle. The hand of divine intervention guided you to the loving embrace of your auntie and uncle in Bel Air, where a new chapter of your life began. Surely their guidance and support played a vital part in your journey. Please, noble prince, do tell me more of that wondrous experience that awaits you in the illustrious city of Bel Air. My cousin invented a holy dance that made the family popular. It's called the Carlton Dance. Oh. Hallelujah! The Carlton Dance, a sacred movement that spreads joy and mirth to all who witness it. I am truly captivated by the wonders you have shared, noble prince. Your heart is clearly filled with righteous of redemption. I extend the most fervent invitation. Wow! I got it! <laughs> I just had to spin the story. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Oh, boy. Unbelievable. Oh, this has been wild.